<laughs> Magni! For Cosmodon! I, will... I hope it's the Control Warrior version. Let's see, do we keep True Silver Champion against a potential Pirate Warrior going second with coin if we have a 2-drop already? I think we do. He kept two cards, he kept the most left ones, so it might be that he is um, Pirate Warrior. We, let's see. Yeah, it's Pirate Warrior. That sucks. So there is probably a Fiery War X coming. I guess I coin the three drop next turn. Okay, that's good. No fire works at least. Equality. Does the two drop here more than the three drop? This one is really bad against Frothing Berserker, right? This one is not that terrible against Frothing Berserker because we can go for equality and also for True Silver Champion. So it's okay. He didn't have a weapon, so. Mm. That's strong. Hopefully he trades. Good thing we have to, uh, the True Silver Champion here, but it's still probably too much. Probably. But we have two taunts in hand. Quality doesn't really do that much, right? Against pirates. Okay, that's actually, I think, the best trade he could have made for me. Like it. This one takes out 5 damage, right? And we just uh, get 2 damage. So I think it's always right to coin the true silver champion here. We get more heal. This one is the best, right? Might tank a lot of damage here on the fiery war X. Yeah, we have to play that one. Maybe it was better to kill Patches. Not 100% sure. Was Patches not lines? Wow. It's a card. Holy shit. It's a real surprise. Um, it's probably equality to get out that 4-3, right? So, it's unlikely that we hit a good 2 mana taunt. Probably that one for healing. What's the 3-6 just better? No, this one for healing again. Try to get it this time. Ugh. Not looking good here. Oh, this is looking good on the other hand. Um, which one is it actually? Probably the seven drop? Hmm, but this will never have had any divine shield targets. And we play, well, we can play something together with this one next turn and with this one, hmm. This one is a 5 attack weapon, so we never want to play Tar Creeper this turn. It might still be the best card because it's like 3-5. What is the Cyclopean Horror? He trades probably this and this and... Hmm. Might also be the 6 drop. Uh, the 7 drop. Let's get that one. Let's hope this one heals now and he doesn't have another silence. Be really bad. Blood and blood. Okay, looks like we are getting some healing. Looks like we actually get some divine shield here. No, we get divine shield. Maybe he doesn't do the attack. That would be really nice. Oh, mortal strike. Okay, 
So he's pushing one more damage face. Hmm. Okay, now Leroy is lethal. Was this one the best actually? Hmm. It's definitely Tyrion. Hope for the best. He doesn't get direct damage. Nice. We are in it. We are in it. I like. We can still do it, boys. One can give us a small taunt, right? But I don't want to play around top deck damage as good as possible. Ooh, this is a good guy. Whoa, this is a terrible guy. I guess the best top deck for him here, right? Think so, pretty sure. Noble Sack, really nice. So, do we play Noble Sack over the minion here? Get even more protection. Hmm. We definitely want to play this one, right? Definitely, yeah. Just get the big taunt out. Um, or is this one better? Hmm. But it doesn't really do anything against the 3-3, three, three, right? So I think I play the minion face. We have to be carefully killing him quickly. Like killing him, not allowing him to, to go down to... Uh, 12 HP for the second um, Mortal Strike. Alright. Kill that one. This one can give us Taunt, right? And it's another guy on the board. So we go for it. Let's see if we can get another Taunt. Hmm. Okay, probably the Murloc War Leader gives the most damage. How much damage is it actually? It is 14, 19, 21. So we can take out that guy. It's just easy lethal next turn, right? This one can hit face. There's no card he can top deck. Um, this one can also hit face and this one trades here. And then we always have lethal and there's no one card he can get. I think that kills us now. Awesome! What a nice freaking comeback this was. Wow. I'm back Paladin. Nice. One and two. And Rogue is also usually a good matchup. Sometimes they get the nuts, but it's usually good. Well met. Okay, so it's not the quest version. I like. And we do have a nice hand. Very good early game here. This card is so strong in the early game, especially when you have the other Murlocs to buff it. Wonder if he's going to trade into this Murloc guy. 
Oh, adaption from the swashburglar. Okay, sure. What's he gonna get? Can't be targeted by by spells, stealth, and taunt. <laughs> Come on, that would be the nuts for me. <laughs> for him, I guess the best one is poison. <laughs> it's gotta be something like that. Wow. <laughs> So he was looking for plus one, plus one, or for poisonous, something like that. Let's kill the Swash Burglar in case of Shadow Step and shenanigans. Not looking good for him here. Old Blood. On to my guy, sure. I like that. Let's just go for more Murlocs. Give the rogue something to do. Hallucination Eviscerate. Okay. We need this one against Edwin and stuff, so I think it's correct to just equip the true silver champion. The Murloc, the 1-1 one -one does too little here. And we, I don't think we can play the Alder Peacekeeper. We might be able to coin Sunkeeper Terum next turn. Might be, but I'm not sure. No, that might be correct actually against the questing, depending on how much he's buffing it here. Mmm, we can buff it, but it's not that good, right? It goes to 4-4. Four, four. It's not that good. So we play Terum, I think. I like it a lot. And Goro belongs to the Titans again. Next step, kind of nice. That's good, because... And my Murlocs can still do work. Ah, oh, nice. That's what I was waiting for. I think we got this covered. Um, get away, Kodo, I suppose. I like to have another, another Sun Keeper turn. Are we dealing with this one? I think we are. He can he can never he can never come back without minions. He's out of cards. We have equality consecration for a big guy. I think this is one already. We just need to start pushing with the Murlocs. We have the war leader. Oh sap. A little bit annoying. But I'm happy that he's sapping the Sunkeeper Terran. A good set target, I suppose. Yeah, <laughs> he knows it. Over. Nice! We are getting there. Do I keep the Murloc synergy? I think I do. Do I keep the true silver? Not terrible, but I much rather want a two drop against a warrior who might be a pirate. Mm. I think keeping True Silver going first is not that good. Wow, he kept three cards, so he's going to be a pirate warrior. We got the Alder Peacekeeper. That's well probably better than the True Silver champion. Oh, he's actually the Taunt Warrior. Okay, that's nice. Oh nice, we can even pressure. Awesome. It's top deck. So he probably holds... Okay. It's also fine with me. Just discover Murloc. Hmm, the one drops are not that impactful, right? I would take the 
Inquisitor if I didn't have it already out. The hero power, but I have it already, so I think it's actually the Corrupted Seer. That makes sense. It might still be the Inquisitor just as a 1-3. Just as a cheap high. The AoE, is it that good against Warrior? Hmm. I think I like the small guy a little bit more. Especially because we are pressuring him here. And next turn, for instance, I could play Murloc War Leader and the, the Inquisitor or also Aldo Peacekeeper and this one. So I like it. So he is probably going to kill the 3 2 here. That means um, the way is clear for the War Leader, probably. So I like it a lot. Coin what? Hatchling. I don't mind that much. Follow the rules. To follow the rules. Job done. Playing a little bit around brawl here. I think it's this one against the Brawl. Hmm. Maybe like this. So that we have two minions on the board after Brawl. He already needs the Brawl to come back here. Yeah, there's the Brawl. Nice. One of the best survivors. I like it. More secrets. Maybe get away Kodo for a late game. But I think he just lost. But let's see, I cannot really deal with a huge taunt like, like the the warrior tar creeper, right? This one, the tar lord. Cannot really deal with it right now. Obviously quality would be really good. Uh this one is probably lethal, right? Um should be. We have was lethal anyway. Hey Larry, welcome. Keep consecration on the coin against the hunter when I have the one and the two already. It's a really nice comeback me comeback mechanism, but I think we can even push it further with these two guys. We get a three drop, good one. Mm. Okay. Oh, nice. There's the three. Awesome. Let's hope no hyena. Awesome, no hyena. Repentance doesn't really do that much, right? Especially because I have equality, so it's Gotta be redemption. We do one trade here. 
Will we go for redemption here? Hmm. It's a lot of tempo on the board if he trades these two there. It's also pretty good to have a Murloc on the board next turn with the War Leader coming up. So I think the Redemption here is the way to coin, especially because this matchup is all about tempo and almost nothing about value. Sure. So he's going to trade, it's good. So the Redemption gets decent amount of value here. Second equality, that's not really good. But the wall leader is really really awesome here. He trade into the red and he might not be able to kill the wall leader. Unleash is fine with me. Oh he's not killing the wall leader. Wow. What? A mistake. That was a mistake happening um face never really makes sense so i think i do this trade in hopes that the guy kills this one nice it was the best hit actually because he was going to trade these guys anyway and now i got an additional life on the murloc yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Is it equality or is it the three three peacekeeper? What if he plays high main next turn? Hmm, maybe it's just equality because we have two equalities. I do want more minions out because I have Terim coming up. Let me think. No, with this hand the equality is so awkward. Let's try to make it awkward with, with his tiger. Because I have two equalities here, I will never be able to use them successfully. Yeah, that's fine with me. Ooh. Interesting. Many options now. So this could be a 3-7. But that's not too good against his 5-1. So it's probably just peacekeepering that one. And making another Murloc. I could also go for Terim now right here then he has seven power on the board against my three seven do it like this get more minions out Oh wow. Oh, we do have equality consecrate now. Hmm. We can also make the big tond. We can also just trade into his big guy. I like that the most. It's just pretty sweet. We have Tyrion coming up. We have now the 3 7 taunt against his 3 3 7 high main. I like it. Oh, another one. Really? If he trades, I definitely go for equality consecrate, right? He doesn't, though. 
We can push it to 513. Wow. We could actually go for equality and then afterwards push it again to 57. Do I like that more? What does Tyrion do? Tyrion sadly doesn't really do that much. But the more he commits to the board, the better for us, right? Because we have that equal equality consecrate coming. So I think we just push more to the board, so he needs to do more stuff. I think it's also good to, to get the weapon out. I'm not sure if he runs silence with that um, rock in the deck. This is a really good card. I think I also should try it out in Hunter, the nesting rock. It has a lot of value, like 5 mana for 7 is already good. And then if you control two other guys, it's just pretty insane. Okay, good. There was no silence. That's really nice. Consecration is pretty broken right now. Ooh. <laughs> okay. It's actually interesting. He's a... Highly value-oriented hunter. This, how does it work when your opponent plays a minion? So I can create Murlocs and he doesn't attack them. I would anyway not play the Murloc War Leader. I think it's just Equality Consecrate. What's going to happen here? We won. Masterful, I concede. Come on, you cannot have more late game in your freaking hunter deck. You already played two five drops. Oh, whatever. Stealth, sure. Red pack, sure. just going to lose. It's over. I told you before, I'm masterful, I concede.